In part four of our uh, Build an Intranet with SharePoint communication sites, I'm going to be building the FAQ list. So this is going to be used for frequently asked questions on the intranet um, and qu quite an easy one to build. I'm going to go to the settings wheel and I'm going to go add an app. And uh, as soon as I select add an app, I'll then choose custom list. So remember, uh, frequently asked questions is questions and answers. So that's definitely short enough to just go for that. I'm going to create that. And then I'm going to go to the settings of this new FAQ list. So I'm going to click on the drop down and I've got to go to settings. Um, as I always say, is a, we'll have to take a look at uh, the um, description. So I'm going to just change it to that. And remember what I said I always do is I always add my purpose and I always add an owner as well. We can populate this later. I'm not going to add it on the quick launch. And then what I want to do is remember whenever a custom list is created, it creates a title column by default. So I'm going to click on title so that I can rename this. I'm going to use the title of this FAQ list for my questions, which is the short little uh, question that you state. So I'm going to rename that to question and I'm going to save that. And then of course I want to add another column. I'm going to add another two columns. I'm going to also add um, a column for answers. Answers, I want to be multiple lines of text in case it's a little paragraph or something. So answers, multiple lines of text, I'm not going to set it as compulsory yet. And then there's one last column that I need to add. Remember, simplicity is my thing and I'm also super lazy. So I'm not going to build for multiple FAQs. I'm going to build one but I'm going to add the department list as a lookup so that I can categorize and filter the content. So we're going to add another column. This is going to be department. It's going to be a lookup. Remember, I built the custom lists in uh, part two of the series, if I remember correctly. So uh, that means I can point to the list that I want to use as this choice column, if that makes sense. As mentioned before, of course, I can also use term store or site columns. So there we go. Lookup list for departments. Not going to make this compulsory yet. And remember, lookup lists will always change them to be the title column, not the ID column. Where that comes from, who knows? So I'm going to change that to the title column and I'm going to say OK. So there's uh, my FAQ list. I've navigated back to the list and I'm going to go and add a new item just to see how this is working. So for example, um, I can add an FAQ that says, um, how do I apply for leave? I'm going to then go to answers. I'm going to click on the pen because it's a multiple lines of text. You have to open up the text box. And please don't attach documents here. Please load them in the main library and link to them here. So apply leave by doing so and so refer to the leave policy in in the brain um, click here to open and then of course I can go and fetch the URL to that and I can hyperlink that click here to open to then also open up the uh, I can use link there to open up the policy but I can also link here to say, uh, click so-and-so, go to this process and link through to that. I'll then just go edit and save. And then I'll also choose the department, remember? So this is also related to human resources. And remember that that metadata is gonna allow me to group my FAQs and it's also gonna allow me to filter the FAQs. And that's how easy it is to create the FAQ list. Um, you might not understand fully now what's going to happen, but you're going to see in the end how this whole internet comes together. So uh, chat soon and see you in the next part where um, we'll also look at creating a gallery that you can use on your site.